Macintosh. It is one powerful beast. And it just costs about $1,300. And a comparable Apple machine would be more than probably 3000 So not a bad deal. Now I have a couple of MacBook Pros, an iMac, an iPad, two iPhones, an iPod, so I don't feel that guilty. This is a hobby and a project and it worked out fine. So let's review the, the parts and the process of how I created my Hackintosh. So probably the most important part of the build is the motherboard and I follow the strict instructions of Tony Mac uh, x86.com and uh, they have uh, the absolute guide of how to build your Hackintosh. So the motherboard is very, very, very important. It has to be supported uh, by their drivers. If not, the machine will simply not work. So I chose the Z68X UD3HB3 by Gigabyte and it is working extremely well. And it's a very powerful motherboard full of features. Probably the second most important piece is the actual processor. And I chose uh, an Intel Core i7 uh, 2600K. Uh, it's a four core, fully supported by uh, OS 10, either 10.68 Snow Leopard or 10.7 Lion. And also works like a charm. The third most important piece is probably the video card. And this is the video card I chose. It's also by Gigabyte. Let's see it right here. It's by Gigabyte. It's the Radeon HD 6870, 1 gigabyte of uh, DDRS uh, memory, and also supported by Tony Mac. So if you choose your pieces, your parts carefully, you should be okay. Um, I chose originally the wrong uh, hard drive, not the one that they were recommending, and that was an issue. That was the only issue I had. Other than that, I went with uh, Corsair TX750 power supply. Uh, I went with uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM by Corsair as well, fully supported. And to be just fancy, I bought a quiet uh, CPU cooler by Zalman. This is the um, uh, ZNPS 10X and also works fine. And finally, of course, to keep the Apple experience as similar as possible with a Hackintosh. I bought a, a case, um, a aluminum case by Lian Li uh, that is, you know, very similar to the real Mac Pro cases. It's extremely nice, uh, extremely well finished, very easy to work with. Uh, not the cheapest, of course, but if you if you're going to go all out, then it's absolutely worth it. Now let's take a look inside. So this is the interior of the case with all the parts already installed. I, uh, you know, I tried to hide the cables as much as I could. And here we have the uh, CPU cooler. The Core i7 is somewhere underneath that uh, massive amount of aluminum. I had to change the fan to this side. Is uh, pulling air from the inside and taking it out. I have here the 16 gigabytes of, uh, of RAM that were recommended by uh, Tony Mac X86. Here we have the uh, ATI video card, one gigabyte of, of memory as well. And here you see the TX750 
uh, power supply. I have uh, two disk drives. I didn't use an SSD on this one. Uh, probably I will up upgrade later when I move to Lion. I'm running uh, Snow Leopard still. I think it's it's a better idea now and I'm gonna stick to Snow Leopard until Lion is more stable under the Hackintosh regime. So here we have, this is a 250 gigabyte, I believe, hard drive. And if this is a, a two terabyte uh, hard drive, very important when you install your uh, operating system, Mac OS X, you have to install it in a hard drive that is less than one terabyte uh, in size. If it's bigger than one terabyte, it will simply not work. Okay, so now we are actually inside the Hackintosh. As you can see, we're running uh, Mac OS X, specifically Snow Leopard. And here you can see the processor, 3.41 gigahertz, an Intel Core i7 with our 16 gigabytes of RAM and uh, the uh, Macintosh HD hard drive, which is the bootable drive. And it's, it's working like a charm. Now, how, how do you get to this point? Well, first of all, after you uh, finish your build, your hardware, which it ha has to be based on the recommendations of this website here, TonyMacX86.com, you need to buy a retail copy of uh, Snow Leopard. It is, it is $30. It is the right thing to do if you want to go ahead and download something, a pirate copy uh, from the internet. Uh, well, you will be in trouble in more than one way. Uh, so, so my suggestion, a strong suggestion, uh, buy your copy, your legal copy of Snow Leopard. Once you have your copy, you have to come here, and I would uh, recommend that you spend a good amount of time becoming familiar with the process before uh, attempting to, to do it. Uh, read the blog, read the uh, the the. the the detailed instructions and the different processes for your hardware, the hardware that you selected, and that will save you, believe me guys, a lot of time. Uh, if, if you just try to go ahead and install some software and, and, and do it without reading before, uh, you, you know, you will, you will waste uh, many hours, and I can attest that myself. Well, and that, uh, that should be the process, and if you follow the instructions of Tony Mac, you should not have any problems whatsoever. And uh, as a matter of fact, my computer is working pretty well. I mean, this is the Geekbench score of uh, over 11,000 points. It is, it is very impressive, as you can see here. Um, well, that score is much higher than my MacBook Pro. Okay, my MacBook Pro is a couple of years old, but it's... Uh, almost twice as high as my new Mac Mini, and the Mac Mini is well, it's, it's, it's brand new. It's a Core i5, top of the line uh, Mac Mini. So it was very, very impressive to see this type of um, of score on my Hackintosh. So good luck with your project. Let me know if this uh, helped out and how uh, your Hackintosh works out. Good luck.